I'm Matt and welcome back to Just Making It. The sun is finally out. I got my sunglasses on. It's February 3rd. And I got the combine behind me, getting it all ready. If you ever watched my last video on combining, I had a little problem combining in the snow. And there was just a little bit of snow on the corn. All it took was a little bit. And it got through the combine and it plugged up my sieves, which are in the rear of the combine. So I'm going to fix that right now. I want to show you exactly what happen, happens when that happens. And uh, we're going to head out back to the field. And we're going to get the rest of the corn and that'll be it for the year. It'll be done. I figured I'd take the combine out. I was going to pick the corn, but I figured I'd take the combine out and test it, make sure everything's okay since that happened. So let's go and let's get to work. Okay, so here's the back of the combine. And in the video there, I showed you what happened. So let's get up in here. And... You could see it right there. See the plug? That was actually ice, and it's mixed with like corn dust, stalk dust, and it plugged up my sieves. It didn't allow the corn to go through right here. So the kernels fall, and they go back through, and then they go up to the tank. So what I'm going to do, since it's warmer out right now, I'm going to take a hose. And I'm going to uh, see if I can get that to go through. And then I'll turn on the combine and I'll let it run. And we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm putting the hose in there now. We'll see if we can break some of this stuff up. And maybe I can slide the sieves so they're straight up and down after I get this water on here. But all that's going to flow through there. And it's going down in. It's going to probably make a mess. But I'm going to turn it on and leave it run for a while after I get all this unclogged. Okay, you can see now I got it hosed out, looking pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up and let it run for a while, then we'll head to the field. to be a real nice day it's nice to see the sun over there's my picker and I got my wagon down here so we're just going to go ahead and combine this little patch of corn here make sure uh, everything's working good I got to take that picker home right there we're done with that So we're going to start up here up by this road. Okay, we're going to we're going to combine a little row here. 
and uh, the corn that's coming out into the tank, it's, it's wet because it's going through that bottom tank where I had the hose. We're just going to run it a little bit here. As we speak, it's drying up right now. All right, let's see how we look here. Now, the last time I was on the combine and we had that freeze up, we had a big row of corn right down the middle, just coming out because it wasn't going through the combine. And I would say it looks good now. All right, let's get back to combining. I said I was going to put it on autopilot. I don't have autopilot. I had to get up and I had to physically look at my tank and it accidentally it went over one extra row, but that's okay. We'll get her. Okay, we got a tank full. I'm going to head towards that wagon right there. And we're going to put all the corn in that wagon. It should all fit. We'll find out. All right, before I let loose on this corn into this wagon, the most important thing is guess what? What do you got to check? You got to make sure this door is closed. I've made the mistake one time and I was picking corn and I had the door open and I'm going around the field wasn't really paying attention and a guy from the road came over and said hey you got corn all over the field your doors open and I'm like oh boy so yep I always check that door not hurt me all that much um, 
And then another thing that actually helped me in this field is this was no-tailed. So I didn't plow this and it helped me here when the ground's wet, I'm able to get to it. So we're almost done here, a couple more rows. Okay, we're pulling up to the wagon again. Let's see if this fills it up. It's going to be close. Almost full. I got a little bit more to get. Let's go back got this little patch by the woods I would assume that the deer has got a lot of this eaten but let's take a look here and see what we get oh yeah there's some corn over here probably the further I get close to those trees the less I'm going to get If you can all see this very well but you can see a lot of the corn right here is stripped this is the corner where the tree line is all those deer come out and they hit it right there so what we're gonna do we're gonna stay this way from it we're gonna try to go straight up this hill I don't know if you can see them or not but there's deer already coming out and there's a deer right up on this hillside Right? There, there's deer. I spilled a little corn from when I started. And because it was wet, because we had that water in the tank. And look at that, they come right out of the woods. Well, I would say that's a full wagon. I still have more in the combine here. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, we got lots of corn in there. I got about three more passes to do over there and then I'll be completely done. I think what I'll do, since this is the only wagon I got over here today, I'm gonna go ahead and take this home. I'm gonna leave the combine here overnight and then I'll come back and combine the rest because tomorrow I'm gonna make a grinding video and I'm going to use some of this corn. So that'll get it down and I can use the wagon again. This is the only wagon that I have that has an auger on the end. So that's why I put the corn in this wagon. Here comes Lisa to the rescue. She's going to pick me up. And we're going to hook onto this wagon. She's going to take me home. And I've got my corn picker here. And we're going to leave the combine here overnight. And I'll come back tomorrow and combine the rest. Well, it was another successful day on just making it. Doesn't always happen that way. But in these cornfields, this time of year, like I said, it's February 3rd. And you should start seeing antlers. We call them sheds. Um, coming off of the uh, deer. So I keep an eye out. I found my biggest set in a cornfield like this a couple years ago, and uh, it was a big eight point. But yeah, they should start dropping. If anybody has found sheds yet, leave a comment. I'd like to know what you found. It's a lot of fun going out here and trying to find horns. All right, we'll see you on the next Just Making It. Mm -hmm.